Hey there, Trevina here, and my birthday is today. So I spent the weekend celebrating my birthday. I specifically requested to have the entire weekend baby free, and in addition to the weekend, Monday and Tuesday, since my birthday was actually on Tuesday. For my birthday, I really wanted to celebrate by creating a weekend of self-care. And that included four things. One, I wanted to make sure that I spent some time in nature. It is winter time and there have been snowstorms on and off here, but I wanted to make sure that even if there was a slither, a sliver, a sliver of time with sunlight, I wanted to make sure that I was outside. I wanted to make sure that I spent time with my friends. As you've seen in previous videos, I mentioned the importance of having friends in hard times. So it's just as important to enjoy your friends in good times, like when you're celebrating. Another part of my birthday weekend I really wanted to make sure I had was some time to create. So I'm actually doing that right now by doing this video, but also taking the time to just learn new video editing techniques. I'm sure you've seen even in the last few videos, I've improved a little bit, even if it's like, I learned how to do this little editing thing or this with this music or that or that. I, I just like to spend the time just improving creatively. And I don't know if this is most importantly, but I really wanted to spend some time relaxing and just a little, little bit of meditation. So I actually got a few friends together and we took a trip out to a spa. We went to King Spa in New Jersey. First of all, the trip in the shuttle out to New Jersey, I was a little concerned, but I was honestly concerned because I was running late. My friends were there already, but I was the one kind of racing the clock to make sure I got to the shuttle. But once we got there, we stayed there all day which is amazing. We just went back and forth between the baths, the saunas, eating, like I, I love eating. So I was happy I could just go and get food whenever I want. The day before the spa, I actually went to the botanical gardens since I live in the Bronx, the botanical gardens aren't that far away and they've started the orchid show. So I felt pretty lucky to get in there and to get to see some of the flowers really early in the season. It's just something about nature that once you're out there and you're in the sun, you're breathing in some really good air, it just rejuvenates you. Like I didn't spend much time in the gardens, but I felt like the little bit of time I spent really just regenerated. I don't know, just I can't even put it into words, but I really felt refreshed once I walked out. Since today I will be 29 years old, it's one year away from 30 and I really want to use 29 to the best of my abilities. I want the year of 29 to be the year I really nurture seeds I've planted along the way and to plant ones I've been kind of procrastinating on. I want to make sure that I'm really living my life for myself. As a mom, sometimes it feels like my responsibilities can sort of override who I am as an individual. So I'll find myself really sacrificing my well-being to, I don't know, like I don't know what I'm really achieving because I, I don't know if sacrificing myself to a certain extent even sets a good example for my son. But I want to make sure that I'm not doing that any longer. I have to set those boundaries and I, I really have to prioritize my well-being. So this year, I really want to foster the ability to recognize when I'm close to like burning out or creating a routine that allows me to refresh, recharge without burning out. I also want to move a lot more intentionally with my career. I feel like before this year or rather before this position that I'm in now, I kind of let life take me you know, to the next step career wise, just sort of seeing what skills I developed and then taking them to the next level. But I really want to be a little more clear about my direction and where I want to go. You know, when they ask you that question, where do you see yourself in five years? 
Like I want to have a really good clear answer. And of course, I want to keep creating. I want to consistently create. I feel like if I plant the seed of consistency this year at 29, by the time I reach 30, I'll have a good body of work I can look back on and truly celebrate. And of course, a body of work that I can include on my resume. It's really weird when you have projects like websites and videos and things like that and you feel like you can't show them when you walk into an interview. And it's like, yo, these are the skills that I've spent nights really improving. I've been researching, I've been working hard. But if you can't show them off, it's like, you know, it's kind of weird. It's like, I, I want to walk in, include my professional work, but also not show average mom. So here's to the year of 29, to planting those seeds and nurturing the ones I've already planted.